Greetings! Let's drink too many spirits while we talk about too many spirits. It's too, too many, many spirits. spirits. Show where we drink our drinks and read your spooky stories. Ooh, we're filming four episodes, all four of them being filmed tonight. So we might be normal now, but by the end, when we get to our destination, we're gonna be different. Travel is the theme, and that's why we're gonna go to the destination. As that's always. Right. So be enjoying a tasty beverage prepared by our cocktail maestro Stephen Lim and the shining light. The indomitable. <laughs> that is the beautiful, wonderful, talented, I mean. Peerless, can we say? Peerless? Uh, hunk alert. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky Wang. <laughs> Thank you. And Stephen Lim. <laughs> Welcome back to Ricky Wang Airlines. That's what we call it when we have lawsuits in the air. Oh, what are the lawsuits? Right now we are having a few sticky situations. Maybe because we're feeding our passengers liquor before they're boarding the flight. Where are we going and what are we drinking, boys? We're going to... Da, 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 yeah, you slap that globe, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ricky, Southeast Asia! Woo! Did he nail it? No. That, uh, was that, that is Hawaii. North. Wait, was oh, that Hawaii? Yeah. We you, were there and now we're going, going to. to. Now, and now we're going to. One more to. time, one more time. Da, da, spin it, Ricky, da, da. spin it. Well, he's right up. I saw it. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. We're going to Wisconsin. Yeah, we're going to Wisconsin. Yeah, we're going to Wisconsin. <laughs> What's this drink called? Oh my gosh, Steven, we forgot what to name mean? the drink. Ricky, this is your job. This is the- Where are we going again? Southeast Asia. All right, we're calling this the uh, Scorched Pineapple. <laughs> well, how much of this so, do we put in there? We're gonna add a couple of ounces, two ounces, Double to ounce. be exact. <laughs> of That's our, milk, right? This, this is coconut, uh, mon frere. Yes. Okay. This is coconut milk. Looks pretty viscous. That would be some bad milk. Yeah, pretty viscous. Ooh, chunky. Yes. We're going to add two ounces of some Roku Gin. Ooh. This has some nice Asian botanicals that uh, pair well with the flavors of, oh. Coconut. Look at, look at Sticky's mm. Airline. This is, oh my. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to add one ounce Pandan syrup. Ooh. Ooh. That we teased last episode. Oh, so this Wait is a, a simple second. syrup, but what's Wait, different about yes. it? I steeped some dry pandan leaves to give it the extra oomph. You actually yeah. steeped the leaves? Can I try a little bit on a Ooh. little spoon? Oh, yes. I think that would be wonderful. Take your medicine, Shady. Take it. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Mm. Sugar's good. I don't know what that tastes like. Leafy. Leafy. It's That's a, a 10. Oh, a 10. Oh, the the rating begins. Great job, Ricky. Wow. Great work. Way to contribute to Stephen Lim Airlines. You know, I do my best to make Stephen look good. Thank you. You guys are making a drink, right? Yeah, what's next? Right. We're adding half an ounce of lime juice. We got coconut, we got lime juice. Guys, we room. pronounce it Lime. We pronounce it Lime <laughs> there. Lime. Yeah. Lime, Stephen Lime juice. Well, I love good. limes. I love coconut. You wouldn't think together, because coconut's so creamy, but actually, this cocktail's very balanced. Well, Shane's a creamy really boy. Is. I'm a bit I, of a I, creamy boy. Then we're going to shake this drink up with ice. Hey, hey, catch. <laughs> Ah, Jesus! <laughs> ice salt. Ah, Jesus! <laughs> Not assault. Ice. 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 I got it. Ice we got salt. it. This is the oh. pilot hat, and I just feel, you know, Stevens piloting us safely to. Um, oh. When he puts that hat on, you kind of look like a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> Steven's original pitch for this episode was to wear just the hat. How do I stop myself from just <laughs> and some cuffs. exuding <laughs> some cuffs? But he didn't want to wear the hat on his head. How do I get this thing so, off? So you want to hit the, it's counterintuitive. You want to hit the lower tip. Uh, how you doing? <laughs> this technique is called a dirty dump. Instead of straining. Oh, Ryan, Ryan knows that technique. I employ well. that technique this at home. Ryan, get in here to do your dirty dump. <laughs> but normally there is some prep time. And by prep time, I mean. 
Taco eating Bell. two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. So not unlike Ryan's Taco Bell preparation, this dirty dump, instead of straining over fresh ice, we're just gonna dump this whole bad boy in <gasps> with its current ice. So that's what that is. Should we mimic how Ryan dumps? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> It's yeah. not, he's missing the primal screaming. That's ah! true. For me, it's like ah! And the shaking. Finally, we're going to garnish with two pineapple leaves. I've never done this before. You just pick it out? Oh. Oh! You can get it like a hair on your chin. Oh! So put two beautiful leaves in. What about like an X? Okay. Oh, yeah, or an X. Because sure. this like an show is X-rated. An X-rated airline. Now that's interesting. You know, I actually don't hate that either. No! Hey, you're the ones who came up with the idea. That's right. And that is the... Call oh, whatever oh. you want. Or Nobody came up with a better one. Southeast Asia juice. Like Southeast like sea juice. A Bali. Sea, sea Bali. juice. Bali. Bali. My hand. No, no, no. no. <laughs> this is why we come up with these things ahead of time. Rock. Paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Nice. No! Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Think about it. Hang on, let me think about it. Access just a the part where you maybe, maybe. good decisions. Think about, think about it some more. I'm actually gonna take Ricky. <laughs> Shady boy, Shady boy. Take, think about it more. Think about it. I'll take Ricky. Uh, you thank you, Shane. Boy. Here you go, buddy boy. This looks wonderful. I don't like you saying, here you go, buddy boy, while handing me a cup of cream. Looks creamy. Yeah, right? Creamy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no scream, <screaming>, yeah. <laughs> Spirit Cam, Spirit Cam, Spirit Cam. What? Good. Oh, I hear the squeaking. What is he writing? It's a lot of writing for one number, <laughs> Ryan. That's. Help me. Help me. That's a 10? That's a 10. That's a 10! Oh, oh, oh my god. Yeah. 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 What are you doing, Stephen Lim? Can you yeah. do like a Zolly? Like a like a Jaws? Like a Vertigo uh, Zolly. Like a Vertigo Zoom? We'll do it in post. Eyes getting wider, but body staying still. And then we'll roto that shit. The fact that I can make a 10 drink means that the recipe must have been really good. <laughs> <laughs> It's Ricky, good. you look like an actual pilot. Yeah, right you now. do. <laughs> With that jacket oh. on, I totally would. Buy. You're like a Frank Abagnale. What right about now. me? What about me, Ryan? You look you, like you a guy in a costume. You look like Ricky, a guy wearing look... a jacket. <laughs> Travel is the theme, and every story we read will be from a different place here in this wonderful place that we call the world. We live here. This is all we got. Okay, that's all we got. The rules are that if one of us has been to the location that the story is from. We get a little stamp in our passport. That's right. Whoever's got the most stamps at the end of the episode can force the other one to take a shot. What a feather in their cap. Yeah. Feel free to play along at home. Drink responsibly. You didn't obviously. even move the log. You just caressed it. Shut up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Okay, <laughs> there we go. This comes from Twitter. Oh, I love that place. Mika and a hazy. This is from Key West. Never been. Now that's Florida. Key West is known for its uh, six-toed cats. What? Yeah, you fucking heard me. I've been to the Disney World Hotel, Old that, Key West. Yeah, I have too. Does that count? Wait, really? You have? Yeah. I With didn't Key stay West there, Brothers but I, I've done a... <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna stamp it for Old Key West, the hotel? <laughs> he said stamp it! He, he said, said stamp it. it! Boom! In the Key West. Ba -da 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 -ba -da. <laughs> Thanks, Mickey! <laughs> when I was a kid, me and my grandparents used to go to Key West on vacation. There's so many grandparents in these stories. Yeah, dude. People be old. People do be that way. Do you find death scary? I think if you fear death too much throughout your life, by the time you're close to death's door and you're on it, you're gonna be like, what the fuck was I doing? Why yeah. was I worrying about this stupid little moment at the end of it all, you know? I'm not scared to die. Good, because you're gonna. I told Mari I can't wait to die before you because then I don't have to deal with her dying. <laughs> I told her I'm gonna rock myself down a set of stairs and smile while I do it. I might even do a double bird as I'm falling down. <laughs> Deuces, good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Take care of our shitty grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> Man, when I was a kid, me and my grandparents used to go to Key West on vacation, which is crazy haunted. But the most freaky 
is Robert the Doll. I've heard of this guy. Is that guy. where he is? Yeah, he's in a museum. Okay, everybody always talks to us about this fucking guy. Yeah, we've already killed one doll, Annabelle, loser. She's a weak little baby. That's right, and now Robert the Doll is our next conquest. What does he look like? He's a doll, he looks like a doll. Ugh. This ugly doll that's been fucking things up since 1950s. You have to ask permission to take his picture or bad things happen. Oh, we gotta investigate him now. Cause yeah, I'm gonna cause take we, his picture, take without, his picture asking. without asking. Yeah. yeah, I'll ask. I'm gonna put an Instagram filter on his ass. You Make him look like fucking Shrek. Long story short, my grandma did not ask permission. <laughs> and then she died? Is that what happened? Did Robert the doll K-word her ass? Did you get IBS? Long, what happened? Long story short. <laughs> A lot of long story shorts and needless to say in these, but. Long story short, my grandma did not ask permission <laughs> to take his picture. <laughs> And the next day, <laughs> what? Hurricane Katrina hit. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Robert the doll. You little son of a bitch, Robert. <laughs> you can't blame Robert the doll for Hurricane <laughs> Katrina. <laughs> Look, I have no respect for Robert the doll. I'm happy to besmirch damn, his dude. whole reputation, drag his name through the mud. But Robert the doll did not cause Hurricane Katrina. He's just sitting there, you didn't say please, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's like August de Winter in the Avengers. <laughs> he's, he's, oh! he's fucking Storm, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we even got Stephen on that one. Look at him. It's like... <laughs> Robert. I just wasn't expecting that. I was like, I can guess a million things that happen next after this grandma didn't ask this doll for permission, and the last one would have been Hurricane Katrina. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm not saying it's Robert. Sounds like you are. <laughs> and it's my grandma's fault, but I'm not not saying that. Side note, look up a pic of Robert. <laughs> this dumb little asshole. <laughs> This guy caused Hurricane Katrina? No way. No fucking way. Look at this dumb- This is the dumb little asshole that everyone's afraid of. All right, here we go. I'm gonna have to give that one 100 out of 10. <laughs> I'm giving it a 10. I might as well. I'll put an extra yeah, zero on Yeah, add a fucking that. zero sure. there, dude. You gotta that's add a, the zero. Yeah. That's a hundred. That's a hundred. Now that's, that's a that, that, no, that. No, 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 that's, that's a hundred. hundred. And, and that's, that's a hundred. hundred. <laughs> <laughs> and that's too many spirits. So oh, the fanfare, we love to hear it. Genuinely a hundred. Oh my god, that was funny. Really good. I almost don't want to burn that one because it's too fucking. No, but we have to. Next story. <laughs> that was great. This is from the Ghost King 17 from New Jersey. I've been. I've been as well. We've been to New Jersey. All right, it's been stamped. Give me that stamp. So like three years ago, I punched a ghost of an old lady outside my bathroom. Holy shit, strong dude, start. <laughs> I punched a ghost. You did! Yeah. You beat the shit out of Robert Hole. <laughs> yeah. One day weird things were happening to my other family members, but I didn't think much of it. Cold spots, disembodied voices. Okay. Phantom touches. Well, you should read this in your best Ryan Bergara impression. The whole kit. <laughs> and caboodle. Then at like 11 p.m. <laughs> I used the bathroom. When I was leaving, everything was dark, but clear as day, I saw this figure of an older lady right in front of me, and I instinctively <laughs> punched her. <laughs> why, why do they keep punching the old lady? I'll give them credit. They started the story by saying, look, I punched an old lady. Mm. Then okay, they so got into a, it. This is not an additional old lady. No, they just punched. they just know how to hook us right from the top. And it's like right when hook. you watch a TV show and they're like, they crashed on an island. And then later they're like, but here's how they crashed. I see, I yeah. see, I see, okay. My hand went straight through her. I forgot you were doing the voice. And then she <laughs> disappeared. Fucking shit. Dude, holy fuck. I stood there for a second and told my sister and aunt and now they won't let me live it down. You gotta work on your endings. Oh yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Ryan got the piggies out. I met this guy at Universal Studios. Yeah. And his eyes were redder than the devil's dick. And he walked up to me and he was like, bro, 
I love your videos. Best shit to get stoned to. Hearing you do that voice while drunk, I get it. If you're out there watching too many spirits and you're like, this much drinking? That's too much for me personally. <laughs> then get high as hell, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> what about that? Okay, I'm gonna give that an eight. Buddy! Ocho! Ocho! That's, That's an ocho! 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 That's good. That's a solid eight if I've ever heard one. Loud bros! Yeah! Oh! What's gonna happen? Face the fire. <laughs> He's not even putting the logs on. He's just eating Lay's potato chips. <clears throat> this comes from Lauren Rowe, and they're from Venice. We've been now, I don't there. know. Is that well? Is that Venice, like Italy, or Venice, Los Angeles? Italy? I haven't been there. You've I've been not been there. I've been there. Well, you go bully the, for you, you go Steven. The whole place goes underwater. Stick. Read this in sort of a Mario voice. You want me to read this as Mario? Yeah. Everyone speaks like Mario. He's uh, an I Italian speak. plumber. I don't know what to tell you. Venice is a city that probably okay, has a lot I got, of Okay, I gotta issues. say a phrase first to get me into it. It's me, Mario. <laughs> you fucked it. that up. You fucked up the one Mario <laughs> phrase. What is it? It's it's you me? said, it's me, Mario. <laughs> what is it? It's a me? It's a me. Oh, okay, here we go. God damn it, I pulled a, I pulled a Pratt, dude. It's a me, a Mario. <laughs> I don't know, man. Here's what you did. You said, it's a me, Mario. I'm you like sound five sad. drinks deep. It's a me, Mario. That's good. Energy, energy, energy. God, I don't know if I. Okay, okay. Yeah. It's a me, Mario. You're still drawing it out too long. It's a me, a Mario. Okay, we'll take it. It's fine. <laughs> I said, I traveled to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I traveled to Venice and ended up staying. I can't do it. No, do your normal no. voice. It's okay. No wonder why he didn't do that voice the whole movie. Everyone was giving him shit on Twitter. Here's the menace of Venice. I traveled to Venice and ended up staying in a 400-year-old historic hotel. Middle of the night, I was woken up by a small earthquake to see a short, elderly woman with long, dark hair. Mm. in a plain white dress. Oh, yeah. Standing in the moonlit corner staring at me. Hot. I'm imagining the old hag from Drag Me to Hell. One of cinema's great hags. That's right. Top, top five, five hags. Top five hags. Top five hags. We're gonna have to go with the lady from Snow White, the old I was hag. just gonna say Snow White. Yeah, she's probably in the top five. She's number one. Drag Me to Hell's they, maybe they, somewhere in there. Another great hag. Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> Stop fire. The witch from Hansel and Gretel. And then probably maybe like that person from uh, Into the Woods, the person that Mail Street plays. She could be a good hag. Despite being a shaniac, I tried to scream, but was too frightened to make any noise. Yeah, I like that, yeah. I finally managed to wake my mother up next to me, but when my eyes turned back to the corner, it was empty. No shadows or furniture in sight. I'm gonna give this one three. I'm gonna give this one a zero and a boo. Jesus Christ, you <laughs> It stinks. Why does it stink so much? <laughs> it's sleep paralysis. Man, this sucks. What if there was an old hag in the room? There's no old hag in the room. You think old hags disappear quickly? No, I've seen old hags. They move slow. That's what I think they're known for. What? Disappearing quickly. No, this is a stone cold zero for me because I'm tired of hearing sleep paralysis stories. I think it's a three. That's very benevolent of you. No, I think it's not benevolent. Very I think it's fair. It's not very what? Benevolent? What'd you say? I said, but, but I said benevolent. Get your words out. Why don't you get your words out? Why don't out? you get your words out? Why don't you out? get your fucking words you out, you son of a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the final story. Here from Instagram, this is from Dr. Cheesecake Melendez. <laughs> from Bisbee, Arizona. Yeah, never been to Bisbee. We've both been to Arizona. We've been to Arizona. We'll call this a, a wash. I was staying with some friends in a bed and breakfast in Bisbee, Arizona. The person at the front counter gave me a haunted room and told me it was occupied by a ghost. Kitty. A ghost kid. Kitty. Kitty, okay, great. K-I-T-T-Y. Oh, cat. Ow. Kitty cat. Kitty cat. That's right. The spirit of a cat was haunting my room. Got when it. I got there, I noticed a little basket of cat toys. I'm glad I got this story. Yeah, because you love kitty cats. I love kitty cats. I didn't know I loved kitty cats until I got a kitty cats. <laughs> named Obi, who's a really special guy. You just rubbed log soot all over your fucking forehead. <laughs> Did I? Why are my hands so sooty? 
Why'd they get so sooty? Notice a little basket of cat toys and treats on the dresser. To be cheeky. I left one of the cat treats out on the dresser for Ghost Kitty to find. As I was leaving my room to meet up with my friends, I thought I heard a disembodied meow. Is it that little boy from The Grudge? Meow. Yeah, that is a little cat boy. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Wait, hold on, let me. Yeah, you got it. Do it to him, do it to him. That's good, dude. When we came back to my room, I noticed the cat tree I left out on the dresser was gone. Ghost Kitty strikes again. Nice. <laughs> what do you think about that? Well, I think, I'll tell you what I think about it. It's a five for me. That's a six. Wow, okay. That's a six. See, I think that's fair. One extra point for me, because I'm a kitty cat man. In my heart, it was a five. I give it an extra point for kitty cat I can content. accept that. Uh, lovely story. I think the maid just came or something. I don't know. What? Oh, oh. <laughs> the maid didn't come. <laughs> the maid. <laughs> okay, I just see what you mean now. The maid didn't That's have... what the meow was, huh? The maid. <laughs> Well, folks, ain't that been another episode of Too Many Spirits? It has been. Did we tie again? On, we did tie. We tied on We shots, tie, you so die. What are we oh! Doing? <laughs> Your shot daddies are here. <laughs> okay. Oh! <laughs> Why did I smell that? I don't know. Okay, here we go. Get some energy. We'll get some energy. Oh, God, oh, we'll energy get some right energy. Here, Tells us to get energy. We got so much energy. Yeah, you sit there. Keep and this in the cut so you can hear this fucking guy over here. We ain't doing shit all night. Yeah, We've you, been out here. You think for you're better than me, Mark? You think you're better than us? <laughs> Let's take this shot and then we'll get the energy up. You should watch the. I'm sorry, Mark. I didn't mean that. You you didn't know, mean like, that. I, no, you're a nice you didn't boy. Mean that. Oh well, that's been another episode of Too Many Spirits, Energy, and um, ah. oh brother, we'll see you next week. Oh, and we got the season finale, isn't it? We've had uh, some great stories this season, and yeah, there's dude. more to come. And don't forget, in the season finale, that's when the fire turns Stop into a different that color. In the fire. Oh, just a tease. We'll see more next week in the season finale. Won't be eating lemons, but it'll still be fun. Until then, to do do. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to go to visit Robert the Doll and just grab him by the legs and swing him around and throw him at a wall till his head bursts.